Hello friends, once again I am here your mentor Ayan Taboshoi. Today is the video is the sequel and the second part of introductory sentence. In the part 1 that we have learned, this is the second part and here you will come to know about the WH questions, the WH words, the WH. The question how can we construct then. So first of all let me inform you some WH words that you know very well. So there is a list that we can see number 1 when. The word when that deals with the time. And the second one the where. The second one where that you can see the word that is it is a place, isn't it? The where the word deals with place and then after why. Why specific for a reason, then after the word what. The word what deals with the three words. The words are like that object, an idea, and something action for. And then the how. And the how it's a manner for, but you know the word the uh, how sometimes it can be seen that with how some other words are coming, like that, how long, how far, how fast. Isn't it? So uh, you can see in the list the word on the head of how one star mark is there. So the mystery is here why the star mark is in here, isn't it? So when the when the class will start, then you will come to know about that. So let me inform you some words like that. How much? The word how much deals with the price of something like this. And then obviously the non-living thing. The sorry, non-living thing, not the uncounted noun. The the uh, the noun that you cannot count. Sometimes how many? How many is for quantity? Obviously the count to that you can count. Then how long is the, it deals with just like the when the word that deals with time and here the how long it obviously deals with the time but it's a duration like. Now how far it's a distance like and the which is a thing and the word who. Who, who is also you can see there one star mark is given who that means the doer means the subject. Obviously, who is doing the work. So, first of all, and the part that I have discussed, then after the one by one, I will take the class on. And till now, if you have not subscribed my channel, just subscribe my channel and then after hit the bell button to get the future updates and notification whenever I will update some videos like this so that you can get the notification for upcoming the videos easily. Thank you, everyone. Hello, friends. Let's start the class on. Interview sentence part 2. Here you will come to know about the WH words questions. WH words are what I have discussed already with you with a list and their meaning for when the word what for we use. And here first of all you will come to know about the WH word sorry WH question the classification. Here you can see the WH type questions are two types. Type 1 type 2 type 1 wh word after that you should use the type 1 rule and after that for type 2 wh word plus type 2 rule yes uh, plus sign i have forgotten to write okay i am writing for you here wh word plus type 2 rule so now the question will come in your mind why it is what is type 1 rule what is type 2 rule for that reason, you should go with me in a flashback where you come to know about the type 1 rule and type 2 rule that I discussed for you with you in the part 1 class. Who the students are watching my video first time, if they are interested to follow the part 1 video, the link is given below. From there, you can get the link to watch the video once again for intro sentence, the part 1. Here, I am trying to the list we got very before. And here I will discuss with some examples. So, so uh, before that, let's have a flashback. In the flashback, we can see that uh, in the, we have seen the questions were three types: the type one, starting with auxiliary verb, and what is auxiliary verb? Here you can see R is coming before the U, and the U R K Z is becoming Are you crazy? And for the type two rule, where you can have the rules for do, does, and did, and when do the rule is in front of you, and when did and when does that is with you in that copy in the previous copy. I just take a little recap from there. And now let's have for the WH question the main discussion part and here I will discuss for you uh, with some examples because examples are the thing that can help us to get the knowledge very clearly. Okay. So now I am uh, making example for WH question. So WH question type 1, type 1 how? So type 1 rule you will have to apply here. Okay, so now let's have some example. 
so the two examples i have brought to you here with this two example i will discuss so two examples are like that number one pamela is teaching history and number two janet is sitting in front of richard here you can see after the two sentences the wh words are given in the bracket number one for what and number two for where so first of all you will have to write the wh word so for one we are writing here what okay and number two for you are writing the wh word where so you can see what we have done we have written the wh word firstly then thereafter take the auxiliary verb is before the subject pamela and the second for is before the subject janet okay so the first one will become what is pamela teaching what is pamela teaching and don't write the word history don't write the word history because history is the answer word and we write we ask the question for getting answer if in a question answer is there then what is the need of asking question isn't it so number two janet is sitting in front of richard it will become yes you are right where is janet sitting answer in front of richard okay the same way the likewise number two has become where is janet is sitting answer in front of richard in front of richard is the answer part so we should avoid it okay here one thing i would like to share with you that the type 1 question and the type 2 question these are the question whenever we expect an answer in a single word just like yes or no for getting positive answer means the yes answer for getting ne ne negative answer means the no answer we ask the question like type 1 and type 2 type 1 means that the question starts with auxiliary verb and type 2 that the question starts with do or does or did okay so hope so this part you have understood if you have any question in the comment section you can ask me so now after this we are going for the next slide the next slide is also for type 2 type 2 the wh where the after wh word you will apply the type 2 rule okay so hope so this part is very clear to you now i'm going for type 2 type 2 also i will discuss for you with some examples so here type 2 two examples i have brought for you pat arrived early today and karen and simon drive dangerously so first question here you can see the wh word we should use the word when because when is the wh word that helps us to get the timing information so when and number two how dangerously how the manner so so pat arrived early today the here the word arrived v2 and the drive the word v1 that means the arrived the pat arrived early today this is a simple past tense question so we should write did so the rule when after did then subject plus v1 then obviously question mark answer part we should avoid because the here answer part is early today and likewise the question will become when did pat arrive when did pat arrive hope so you can remember that whatever the question starting with do does or do it inside the verb always v1 inside the verb always v1 so number two will become how does yes no 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 i should not write does because here the verb drive obviously in simple present tense but the with the verb s or es ending is not there so we should write do so the question is how do karen and simon drive how do karen and simon drive answer is dangerously for the reason the answer part dangerously i should not write so hope so these two examples you have understood okay so now after this i am going for you the next slide the slide that is for the some special wh words that during starting the video i told you that some special wh words are there where some star marks were there on in the list that i told you but the star mark was not there okay no problem and i told you that there is a mystery let's make the mystery clear so the wh question special cases the special cases wh questions are what they are which how 
ओके सो नाउ ऑल्सो नंबर वन हु ऑल्सो नंबर टू मिस्टर रॉबर्टसन केम टू द पार्टी एलोन हु दो द डब्ल्यू एच वर्ल्ड हु इज वेरी स्पेशल बट वेरी इजी स्पेशल इट्स वेरी इजीएस्ट डब्ल्यू एच वर्ल्ड इन द लिस्ट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू यू विल हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द डूअर द सब्जेक्ट एंड एट द प्लेस ऑफ सब्जेक्ट जस्ट राइट हु एंड द रेस्ट पार्ट सेम एज इट इज दैट वॉज इन द क्वेश्चन सो दैट मीन्स आई एम आस्किंग यू टू राइट हु केम टू द पार्टी एलोन एंड सर मिस्टर रॉबर्टसन ओके सर जस्ट राइट द वर्ड डब्ल्यू एच हु एट द प्लेस ऑफ सब्जेक्ट ऑफ द डू वर्ड नंबर टू विच हियर विथ द वर्ड विच आई टोल्ड यू दैट विच इज द स्पेशल डब्ल्यू एच वर्ड इन द लिस्ट फॉर एंड विद आफ्टर द वर्ड विच वी शुड राइट द एंसर कॉम्प्लीमेंटरी वर्ड एंसर कॉम्प्लीमेंटरी वर्ड मीन्स what the word that you will help you to grab the answer here the word shirt is that word so i should write which shirt which shirt do you like which shirt do you like and the answer main answer is the red and the left answer the left part that is a not the blue one that part also i should avoid okay so the no the word not and the for the word the not the blue one these two parts we should avoid so which shirt do you like is the main answer okay and the these two circles we should avoid and here the main uh, special rule about the word color i would like to share with you especially for the students for competitive exam that the word color is specially used for the interrogative types of sentences whenever you are asking any question you uh, use the word color there but whenever you are answering so never use the word color okay so for example what color do you like or what is the favorite color here in the two sentences the word color i have used but the answer it's blue it's red like this don't never say it's red color it's blue color hope so you have understood okay now after this some ex- more examples i have brought to you okay and these two examples the rest one these are with how okay these are with how so the party lasted all night number 1 and the check was for 5.50 dollar the first question the party lasted all night that means i am asking you the duration okay for the duration hope so you can remember how long isn't it so there i discussed i told you that the how long for the duration and the answer is here all night so here the wh word is not how here the wh word is how long okay the long word was not in the question but for making clear sense we should write the word how long and the last one is the v2 is the simple past tense so the same rule we should apply how long did the party last okay and the answer is all night the all night part the we should avoid answer part we should not write so how long did the party last the we use the word did because the sentence is in simple past tense and the check was for 5.50 dollar here we are talking about the money the currency about means how much how much was the check answer for 5.50 dollar hope so my friends you have understood all the examples all the rules you hope so everything is very clear though if you have any question any query in the comment section is open for you you may write down there what the queries you have and if you have liked the video please subscribe my channel and make it share with your friends and press bell the bell icon for getting the future updates and notifications and be happy always be stay at home and tata bye bye